Do you guys remember these stories you heard as a child claiming that there is a monster living under your bed and nibbling on your toes while you sleep? When I grew older and realized that the whole thing was just a fairy tale, I was actually really disappointed. So now, a couple years after I discovered that life is a lie, I decided to make this dream, or rather nightmare, a reality, and so I'll build my very own monster. Although I'm quite sure that this thing won't fit under my bed. I started building this sculpture about a year ago, and now, about 250 hours of working time later, this huge project finally came to an end. The whole costume hangs on a puppet, which is made out of PVC pipes, paper and tape. It can be slotted into the base plate, which consists out of expanding foam and plywood. Once I had the mannequin done, I began to work on the actual costume. The pouch system, for example, was created by transforming cheap used handbags into ammunition belts and first aid pouches by using glue, lots of rivets and other materials. By reusing existing pieces, I was able to save a lot of money. The head of the monster is also based on a recycled object. I took an old plastic skull I had lying around and used it as a basis to create a terrifying burnt face using latex, paper pieces and some more stuff. A similar technique was used to build the left and right hand of the monster. First, I made a wire skeleton which got fleshed out with newspapers and tape. The final skin layer was added with more liquid latex and paper pieces. The main coat and the trousers were found for very little money online. They went, as every part of this sculpture, through excessive weathering to ensure an authentic and ancient look. Therefore, a variety of different tools were used. After the weathering was done, I took ordinary expanding foam to add a disgusting looking texture to all relevant parts. This step really added a lot of realism and authenticity to the whole object. To keep an eye on the costs, everything was painted by using cheap wall paint as pigment, mixed with ordinary flour and water as main component. I really tried to create this piece for as little money as possible without making any compromises on the look. And I was surprised on the results you can get by using easy backyard techniques. Everything on the sculpture, from the barbed wire to the blood to the teeth, is self-made except for some examples I couldn't do by hand like the helmet or the coat. In total, the whole project cost me about $160, which sounds like a lot of money at first, but it's actually not that much for a piece like this, even more if you keep in mind that the whole thing is also a fully wearable costume. It really was an eventful journey from the first steps to the finished sculpture, and even if it wasn't always easy, it was a really fun project, and. I learned a lot while making it. And after all, that's what it's all about. I also want to shoot a short film where you can actually see how this thing looks like as a costume on an actual person, but I didn't really have a good idea yet, so that's something for a future video, I guess. So that was my short summary of this project, but if you want to learn more about the working process and the techniques I used, I made a 10 minute video about the making of every single part of this thing, so make sure to check out these videos if you're interested. I'll put links to them into the video description. If you want to see more stuff like that, I think I got some really interesting projects planned for the future, so I would be happy to see you on the next episode. That being said, thank you very much for watching, and as ever, remember to always stay creative.